What's up YouTube? I'm off to a coffee shop to do some graphic design work. I haven't really showed you guys what I do. So I'm going to mix both filmmaking and graphic design in one today by doing a little storyboarding. I'm going to create a storyboard template and I'm going to show you how I do it. My first goal is to create an InDesign file with a library of templates that I can use to storyboard movies. If I need to have a long shot, I can grab that thumbnail template and pop it into my storyboard template. Or say I need to have a close-up with a long shot after that. I can then take those two templates and pop them into my movie storyboard. Alright, let's take a look at these templates. I found an awesome article online, you should check it out. I put the link below in the description. But it gave 30 of the most famous shots for movies. I picked up my favorite 18 to start with, and I can always add more in the future, but let's take a look at each one in depth. First up we have the aerial shot, which is that drone view of the city looking down. This could also be from a building, pointing your camera down on the ground. We've got the arc shot, which is where the cameraman circles around the subject. We've got the close-up shot, which is someone's face really up close. We've got the medium shot, which is the head and shoulders in the frame. The long shot, which is where the subject is way off in the distance and maybe he's walking closer. The cowboy shot, which is similar to the long shot, but it's shot from the hip. The dolly shot, which is a pan from left to right or right to left. The establishing shot, which is giving some context to your overall video by showing the landscape. A handheld shot, which is basically holding your camera and filming. A low angle shot, which gives the person in the background more dominance over the one in the foreground. A point of view shot, which is seen from the character. A pan shot, which is where the camera pans around to the left and right possibly in a circle. An over the shoulder shot, which is common in a lot of TV shows and movies, it establishes a relationship between the two people talking. The lockdown shot, which is where you have a person in the background stable, but people are coming in and out of the frame. A high angle shot, which is where the person in the foreground is more dominant over the person in the background. A two shot zoom, which is where you have two people in the background and the camera zooms in toward them and it establishes connection between the two people. A tracking shot, which is where the camera follows a person. And finally, the bird's eye view shot, which is where you have a lot of people or subjects in the foreground and background, and you kind of see everything overall. Okay, so in the next video, I'm gonna take that storyboard template and build it into an actual storyboard for the video itself. I've never done this before. I think it's gonna be a good experiment. It's gonna be an exercise for me to develop the skill of doing an actual storyboard. And I'm gonna put all of the templates that I made in the links below so you can download them and maybe try them out for yourself. All right, so I'll catch you in the next video.